Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Yay! It is time again for Mercante and Fiera in Parma, the biggest antique fair in Italy. Let's go. We're at Central Station in Milan or Stazione Centrale. Look at this building, it's amazing. Wait till you see the ceilings. Look at that, it's huge and gorgeous. So, finding our train. Look at that. So cool. Everybody's going, got their masks. We are taking the fast train today. It's gonna be in Parma in 50 minutes. I can't believe that. I had no idea there was such a fast train to Parma. Coach 10, that's our car. Very important to find your car on trains in Italy. You can't just sit down in a random car. Seats, however, are more flexible if there's nobody there. Yay, we have power. Keep the phone charged, always good. And we'll get to see a little bit of the scenery in Parma. So cute, lots of farms. Agriculturally, great food. Ciao, Parma. Here we are. Yay. The first exhibit is Olivetti. As soon as you walk in, Olivetti is a company with an amazing history. In 1908, it was founded. The brand is known for its typewriters, office machines, and today even tablets and smartphones. They have an emphasis on great design, product design, architecture, graphics, and also advertising. Olivetti has been featured in places like the Mo Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Musée des Arts Décoratifs in Paris. This is my absolute favorite. It's amazing. The designers paid attention to every detail even the shape of each key and space bar. Here you can see a few of their iconic advertisements over the years. Look at that, they're great. Wow, these are so old. Wow, 1920, this is from, come on. <laughs> I'm shocked that they still have it. That is great. Now we've got to stop and get some food to take with us. Ooh, Columba, traditional Easter cakes. Since Parma is known for their food, they have the shop set up right near the front. Look at this. They're known for not even, not only cheese, but also meats, ham, everything's so good, pasta. So we're gonna grab a quick panino bring it with us because the line in this room will be 30 or 40 people deep at lunchtime. So nobody's got time for that. <laughs> we got stuff to do today. We've got to see everything. So we're just going to grab a quick panino for five euros and head on out. Oh, here we go. Lots of books, oh, art books, antiques books, anything. And we're going to all the other buildings. This is just building five in front of us. There's also building three and six. We just came from building four. Amazing. And you might think that this is a long video, but it took six and a half hours to get through all these buildings. You're seeing all the best parts. You're not seeing random, uh, random hallway shots. Please like if you are enjoying this video. Look at this lamp, so cool. If I could have gotten that home, I would have bought it. No idea the price, I just love it. <laughs> it's so cool. On the left, they look like stalls for animals or something. Everything is so good already. It's overflowing outside, that's how much stuff there is. These buildings are packed and overstuffed. There's stuff in the hallways going to the doors. It's incredible how much stuff all these dealers brought with them to set up here. 
I can't even imagine how much work that was. Great table. These chairs are so good. Now, when we go into building five, you'll see us go into building five, but going from five to three, I forgot to film that transition. So they'll be blended together, but you will see us go into building six toward the end. And building six is where most of the vintage fashion is. That's so good. Not all, but most. Wow. Already. Oh, this light on the ceiling. I love this, but we just started. I want something like that. <laughs> I love that. So cute. Everything's so cute. That's amazing. I don't think I need that, but come on. It's impressive. Oh, all of the Spanish helmets. Awesome. Yes, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to know when new videos like this come out because it's on a schedule of about every week and a half. It's not a certain day. So if you hit the bell, you'll know. Look at all these details in these helmets. So good. And these locks. They look like they're ivory to me. I love these dice with little metal dots on them. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, precision instruments. I always love those. That is a stamp. Wow. Speaking of stamps, look at that printing stamp, that block. Wow. I love this little crystal bottle. <gasps> Amazing detail. Wow, jeweled egg. Anyone? Hi there. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. There's so much to see. Yes, please hit our um, Instagram and Facebook at Texas to Milan. See more stuff. Oh, this, that metal box. I wish I had seen it before I was editing. I love that box. It's a cute little pocket watch. Adorable. That box with the grids on it. Oh, I would have bought that. <laughs> I love a good box for stuff. Hi, dear. Oh, these shelves. I think this is paper on the underside with the red. Oh, so striking. Oh, and those lamps up there, they're telescoping the brass lamps. Look at that. You could swivel them around. Mm. Love those. Now, luckily we're here on a Thursday, so not too many people, so it was ideal. This is one of the only sightings of nativity seen uh, little dolls for the day. I was surprised I didn't see more. Great screen back there. Look at that. It's a painting cut into three sections and put into this amazing, amazing frame that's freestanding, basically, to make it a screen. Oh, oh, this table, all of these little pieces of stones, all concentric. Look at that, with a little cute, cute little bird in the middle. That's adorable. So much silver. 
this booth was exploding with silver. This little set was 50. I think everything in this general area is 50. Yep, 50 a piece. All pets, it was a piece. Taglieri are cutting boards. Tagliare is the verb to cut. 120. These broche are carafes, basically. And they are 120. The tiere are teapots and vasoi are trays. All 120. Everything here is 80. And there's a couple cute things in here. This little carrier with the oil and vinegar, and I think it's salt and pepper, so cute. And down below, there is a flower holder, I believe, that looks like the, in the center, a frog for flowers, I think, with candle holders on each side. That is unique. Coasters for 25 and 50 for the set. I think the ladles say 35. These are 150 for whatever's in there. And these bigger trays are 200. Up here, these candle snuffers say 50. And also lenti are uh, magnifying glasses. This says 85 for the sweet little oval box. And these, so cute, say 65. I don't know what the bottom of that is made of. I don't remember what it felt like. Lots of cute things over on this side. More little carriers, little teeny tiny salt and pepper shakers. I really wanted to get to this little blue table in here. It's hard to get to. But they have these amazing blue inserts. They're Salini, that's little salt holders basically for 25. It's a silver on copper with the dark blue glass inserts. They're so cute. You can put anything in those. But for each size, they were all 25. So cute, even that had a blue insert. Oh, and the little birds, salt and pepper. <laughs> They're sweet. Hello. Also 25. These had all different color glass inserts. And I believe this says 90. This, I do not remember what that said. Even this had a sweet little insert inside. Very nice, makes it easier to clean, I guess. And that's the name of the dealer for all of that silver. These so colorful. If you need a flower pot, oh. This plate in the front, this little shallow bowl, 55, and this furniture piece was 750. The marble top and amazing curves. The little guy with his carrying his little clock, so cute. Oh, this lock on the left had great little details on it. Oh, the lady there, she's giving a lot of side eye to the other lady in the other portrait. Don't know what she did, but mm. <laughs> that lady's not having it. So many little portraits.
Oh, great little wallets on the bottom there. Alligator and crocodile. The black one's alligator, I think. Ooh, this desk is really sweet. A little parquet. It says 550. The mirror and all the little details and the green leather inset. So nice. That'd be great for makeup. <gasps> Love these. These are great umbrella holders. Unfortunately, I didn't see any prices on these. There was one with a sticker, but with no price on it. So cute. Great shelves. And little, little spice sets. Oh, nice. Cute bench. This clock is so detailed. Look at that. Wow. These are amazing. I wish they were newer or had a price or something. But they are made to hold American coffee. They're so big. This green bowl says 160. I think, or 140, maybe 140. And that little square box with the, um, oh, it's not an orchid. Is it an orchid? It's for, for 80. Cheese tray, cheese plate for 55. She's plate with a cover. These cups and saucers, adorable. No markings, no price, unfortunately. Very cute. These birds, I love these silver birds in this case. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at them. Oh, this is a great table, but with like a shallow bowl in the top. I'm not sure what that was used for. Great dragons on the bottom. If you know what this kind of table could have been used for, let me know. Great cow print chairs there. This chair, classic. And look at the mirror frame, hi. This sofa bed, oh, day bed. The red day bed, amazing. Oh, and this is a great example of one dealer putting all of his furniture down a hallway toward the door with big visible prices on it and a big sign with his phone number. Smart man. 400 for that table. There is his sign. It's some great furniture. 200 for the 220 for the little cabinet. And this little desk is really sweet for 150. That's cute. And this big cabinet 400. Come on, where could you ever find that? And this is a great table or desk for 200. Oh, nice. And 250 for this little painted table. Oh, love that. A giant mirror for five something. And those twin, really tall armoires for $7.50 each. Oh, those are great. There's so much. But it's really easy to see. And 500 for that table. Oh, these are big shelves. These are so sweet. With all the flowers.
1000 for those cast iron pieces that I'm definitely looking for. Hard to find, but a little more than I wanted to spend. But they have great outdoor furniture.
here. He was just telling me about that telescope and a stand was 300. Look at this fun game table. It folds open, it's got little drawers. Nice. Ooh, cute plates. Great furniture. Ooh, they have great pharmacy bottles here. Look at those, the little labels. Oh, so cute. Oh, and these ceramic ones, so nice. You don't often see little ones like this, these ceramic things, usually they're bigger. So sweet. This had the most light of any any dealer I saw there. It was like the surface of the sun looking in their stand. <laughs> this I've never seen before. A wrought iron rocking chair. That is new for me. This lady with her dress. So nice. These clocks were adorable. They're so teeny. Wow, fantastic. And all of these, look at all of these stamps. <gasps> all different prices. These are great. Wow, it makes me want to get a seal just so I can have one of those. <gasps> look at these little enamel buttons. These are amazing love those where I don't know what I'd even put them on they're just so cute this enamel buckle oh I love that all these cute pins I see opera glasses there nice all these compacts and little boxes I just want to look inside each one I did ask the price of a couple things in this case. Two hundred for the egg. Four hundred. I believe 300 for the little oval box. So many cute pocket watches. Little toys. Adorable. The little fire engine. 
I wanted big vases. Come on. Great porcelain. More toys. And a rocket ship. <laughs> That's adorable. This is so cute, the swings. And these, oh, so cute. More cast iron. It's the only other cast iron I saw. And they didn't have any chairs, only benches. Phonographs. <laughs> scale oh really cute Pinocchio so many good things here a little sundial <laughs> Cute scissors. I am also a sucker for cute decorative scissors. Little sewing ones. Oh, so cute. These, I think, are for razors. Another coffee mill. Wow, that one looks really old. <laughs> Something to hold your corn. I'm not sure if that's the original purpose or not. <laughs> good logs mm. and more greenhouses there were quite a few greenhouses today and they were guarding it they look very serious about their job too that's a nice greenhouse again more really good luggage there was a lot of good luggage today Copper, all the copper fishies. Oh, that kitchen setup. So good. These little metal looking pendants were adorable. Look at this, a little sewing box. That's amazing. All the little compartments and things. Oh, more copper, kitcheny things. So good. Oh, nice lock. I like that red lock. Ooh, bells. have such a wide variety of things here. Oh, and cowbells. Nice. I don't think I've seen brass mortar and pestles before. That's interesting. No idea what that is. Oh, these toys. <laughs> these are great. Look at them. This man is reliving his youth with the toys. <laughs> He's so cute. These are adorable. That says 60 euros for the yellow car. And I think 70 for the blue one. Wow. Nice big mirror. Ooh, cute lamp on the right. And oh, the little plane model. <laughs> I don't think I need an alligator for the garden. Sorry. Oh, here we go. I think. Look at this. Horse and carriage for whatever you put in that egg. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Mm, 
This is great for handbags, old handbags, nice, and scarves and ties. Oh, sweet flower enamel pins. I always love those. That little purse, it's got another little one in the center of it. This, here we go, yay. This is my favorite, favorite dealer of this whole show. This dealer's from Paris. They have these little collapsible um, telescopes for the opera. Look at this fan. I bet it's on silk because I think the price tag says 2,200 euros. <laughs> this one is equally as stunning. They have all kinds of fans, opera glasses, little telescopes, little scissors. They have an amazing collection. And look at that, the little box on the left. I don't even know what's in there. It's amazing. That's the dealer. Congratulations to you. It is amazing. Oh, those little boxes, little compact. Oh, they're books. Nice. More fans that are amazing. Look at this. They have teeny fans, little teeny books. I would bet that they're Bibles, but they're, they're like an inch tall. Oh, so many sweet things in here of amazing quality. The little box on the bottom, look at that. All the compartments, oh, fantastic. And more, more fans and more fans. Oh, that looks like a little buckle, I bet. These are all carved. Even the ones on the bottom hiding are amazing. Look at those. Here we have a painted cabinet, hand painted, outside and inside. I couldn't believe this quality. It is truly, truly great.
this chair is leather with hand painting on it for 330 euros. I've never seen a leather painted chair like that, especially with this kind of wood trim. That's new for me. Ooh, that cute little compact. Oh, and a little telescope. I like these bar carts. This, these look to me like branding irons, but I wouldn't think that they would be so small. Anybody know? This little book with the little, little thing in it is so cute. These pirate mugs, they're giant. They're 50 euros each. Fantastic. All of the luggage, such good luggage at this show. Nice textiles there. So sweet, these flower vases, they're so happy. Look at that, and a clock. This little pink one, you just put your flowers right in there. <laughs> Adorable. This, I believe this clutch right there is Bottega Veneta, and that is, I think 600? Lots of great things here. Liberty style, which is Italian Art Nouveau. This is the best booth. They're from Torino. These are all old radios, more old radios, and they have a great selection of telescopes. So for sure, We'll have to be visiting this in the future to their actual shop since Francesco couldn't be at the show. Look at this cute little house. But they, that's their name. They have great, great things. So I bet we'll be visiting them in the not too far future. A suit of armor with or without a drink tray. Occasionally we see them check out one of these other videos and we'll see you next time.